This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. So this time, we're not actually talking about the game. We got a whole bunch of new information about the company, Jagex itself. Some interesting stuff. I got this article. I have a picture of it. I don't know where, what, like, newspaper or whatever, if this is a newspaper or, like, magazine article. I don't know. I don't know where this is from. All I have is a photo. I'll have a link to that photo in the description by itself, but I don't know where it's from. I mean, I'm sure if you, like, Google the author, you should be able to locate where this is from. But with that being said, let's get into this article and actually check out what it has to say say so i'm just gonna read it off for you guys and then we'll go along and i'll give my uh, thoughts on it as we go along so it says here cambridge-based gaming business jagex has struck a deal to open its first london office in a bid by its new chinese owners to Wu tech talent so they're expanding basically they have a whole new office and they're trying to grow interesting news could be good news for the whole game itself runescape but let's keep going the video game developer behind shooter game block and load pictures has signed a lease with the great portland estates or 10,600 square feet at 30 broadwick street in soho with top end rent of around 100 euros or is that pound per square foot i don't i don't, I don't know the symbol sorry <laughs> if you if you live in those areas i'm not sure if that's pounds or euros but one funny thing to mention uh they mentioned block and load <laughs> like why would they mention that as jay that's not jagus's flagship game like i don't know who wrote this like article <laughs> what the fuck do they know they probably think like shooter because like shooters are so popular with call of duty and whatnot like <laughs> that they had to mention the shooter game that they created i don't even know how popular block and load is to be quite honest does any of you guys play it I don't, I don't think a lot of people even play it but i don't know i just thought it was funny that they mentioned block and load uh why not uh runescape maybe <laughs> i don't know anyway moving on uh jagex founded in 2001 and now boasting 500 staff that's crazy i didn't know they had that much people i mean i heard they downsized too but 500 is still a big like big staff anyways was sold in summer for around 400 million we already know this i did the video about it so 400 million to chinese investor zong g which wants to bring pc based fantasy hit runescape to smartphones this is interesting runescape to smartphones i mean that's pretty much all but confirmed that they're going smartphone I mean, we kind of already knew that they wanted to take that direction. And we already know that, you know, Idle Adventures is supposed to end up being a smartphone game. We already know that. But, I mean, maybe this just means games under the RuneScape umbrella like Idle Adventures. But it could mean bringing some sort of variation of the actual game we play to our smartphones. Which is really interesting. I just wanted to put that out there. The way it's said seems like it's blatantly just a runescape port to smartphone but i think they just mean like runescape themed games like idle adventures but who knows i mean only the future could tell right anyways continuing leasing agents colliers international and edward charles and partners advise on the office's deals where there is space for up to 100 new employees interesting they're gonna be expanding london's tech sector is still rapidly expanding facebook this month announced plans to go on hiring spree and apple signed a deal to open a large headquarters in battersea so this is written by joanna bork bork i don't know so you can look that up if you want to see where that's from again i'll have the link to this exact picture below so go check it out yourself but anyways to wrap this up this does confirm that jagex now has a brand new office in london so that's cool and we also get some side confirmation that they are working on smartphone games in the runescape realm of gaming so that's really interesting what do you think that could mean anyways leave your thoughts below if you liked the video hit the like button and if you enjoyed me subscribe i got new runescape videos almost every single day and you do not want to miss out on that shit bruh anyways thanks for watching I'm out. Peace.